The black widow spider, known for its distinctive appearance and potentially harmful bite, is a venomous arachnid. Various species of black widow spiders are distributed globally. It stands out with its shiny black color and a red or orange hourglass shape mark on its abdomen's underside. The spider's venom contains neurotoxins that impact the nervous system. Symptoms resulting from a black widow spider bite can vary in intensity based on factors such as an individual sensitivity to the venom and the volume of venom injected. Typical symptoms of such a spider bite include rapidly escalating pain that can reach severe levels within an hour, swelling and redness in the affected region, and one of the distinctive indicators of a black widow spider bite is muscle cramps. These cramps can extend from the bite side to other parts of the body, leading to considerable discomfort. Abdominal pain often accompanied by feeling of nausea and instances of vomiting. Additional symptoms include sweating, chills, fever, anxiety, and tremors. The primary step in managing a black widow spider bite is to keep the patient calm and encourage them to lie down, if possible, to reduce the spread of venom. Regardless of the severity of symptoms, seek medical attention promptly after a black widow spider bite because it's an urgent situation. The bite side should be gently cleaned with mild soap and water. Over-the-counter pain relievers like acetaminophen or ibuprofen may be suggested to alleviate pain and discomfort. However, aspirin should be avoided, as it increases the risk of bleeding. In severe pain, parenteral opiates, such as morphine and pethidine, might be administered to reduce severity and frequency of muscle spasms. Tetanus prophylaxis is indicated in patients who had incomplete doses of tetanus. Muscle relaxants might be prescribed in some cases to alleviate the muscle cramps and spasm resulting from the spider's venom. In cases of severe envenomation, antivenom is the specific treatment option, typically reserved for situations where symptoms fail to respond to other treatments. Antivenom can significantly reduce pain duration to less than 24 hours in approximately 80% of cases. However, before administrating widow antivenom, it's essential to have medications and equipment for potential anaphylactic reactions, including IV fluids, epinephrine, and intubation equipment. Patients should have adequate fluid intake to prevent dehydration, which can exacerbate symptoms. Close monitoring of symptoms, particularly in the initial hours following the bite, is necessary. For instances of allergic reactions, epinephrine might be administered to manage severe allergic responses. It's crucial to maintain proper cleanliness of the bite area to prevent infections.